I uh, want to welcome you to Ignite Ann Arbor 9. Uh, I'd like to thank you for coming out on this blustery uh, November evening. I know I've been looking forward to a Friday night party at the business school for a couple months now. I hope you have as well. Um, who's here at their first Ignite tonight? Wow, a lot of people. All right, so you're probably wondering, what, what is this? Uh, so Ignite is an evening of five minute talks where all the speakers get 20 slides that auto advance every 15 seconds. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little bit of a, a tricky thing. We have to, for that reason, have no questions during the talks. But we encourage you to uh, talk to the speakers at halftime or at the post party. But you can also still give them your energy, your uh, appreciation, and uh, your excitement, and they love to get that. So we've been doing a night here in Ann Arbor for um, about. Nine, uh, we've, this is our ninth event. We've been doing it for about five years. And I was recently reminiscing about back when we started, because it's been about five years. And we did our first event at the Neutral Zone over on Washington. And, you know, we, we asked some people to come and speak, and they didn't know what it was about, and neither did we in a lot of ways. And we were really happy to get the speakers we got. And one of them rode up. He was a fellow with a beard, rode up on a bicycle with a huge trailer behind it. Uh, of course, it was Dave Askins, and uh, he was coming to talk about this news website that had recently gotten started called the Ann Arbor Chronicle that he had started with his partner, Mary Morgan. And we were excited to have that talk, and I was reminiscing about this, of course, because it's uh, just two months ago on September 2nd that the Chronicle uh, sadly ended its run. And as part of that uh, last month, um, yeah. As part of that last month, they were uh, handing out their final set of Bizonki Awards, and I was really touched and honored to receive one for Ignite Ann Arbor. So if you don't know what that is, it's, it's a statue. They have six of them, right? And um, so usually you pass it on every year at the next Bizonki party to another person. And of course, with the demise of the Chronicle, that means that the Bizonki party also, it's probably sadly at an end. However, I am looking forward to uh, spending the next year looking for a person or organization in Ann Arbor who is really deserving recognition for something uh, great they're doing so that I can uh, pass on this particular Bizonki to them at the next Ignite. And we're excited to have Mary here tonight to talk about Bare Knuckle Democracy. Let's have a, a big round of applause for David Mary. I'd like to just give a uh, word to our sponsors. Uh, Ignite is presented by A2 Geeks. It's a local nonprofit that's, uh, that's uh, dedicated to making Ann Arbor a great place to live for creative and innovative people, live, work, and play. And I'd also like to thank the Michigan Master of Entrepreneurship Program for providing this great venue. Uh, I'd also like to thank Workentile for sponsoring Ignite. Uh, if you're a, a remote worker or self-employed, if you need a place to work with you know, people in it that's not in your house, if you need a, a meeting room, and if you need a community, which is what Work and Tile really is, I, I encourage you to check them out. They're at workandtile.com, and there are places on Main Street. Um, and I'd also like to thank Washington Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an organization that basically helps you improve your public speaking skills. Uh, Kirk and Jim were kind enough to give some of our speakers some guidance last weekend, and I, we appreciate them for helping out. There's, I think, 11 or 12 different uh, Toastmasters chapters around town. Uh, that one is at WCC. And if you'd like to speak with them about Toastmasters, they'll be out in the atrium at halftime. And finally, I'd like to say thanks to Roger Rail for uh, videotaping tonight. We are videotaping and live streaming the events. So, all right. Now, we usually, before we get started, you know, you need to get things a little uh, pumped up. So what we're going to do is yet another running of Ann Arbor. I'm going to say it's the longest running uh, single elimination rock, paper, scissors tournament in Ann Arbor. Um, so what we're going to do, I'll just explain it a bit before we all get excited. Uh, 
you know, know rock, rock, paper, scissors, scissors you know, rock, uh, spatula, scissors, scissors, cuts paper, paper covers rock, right? So we're going to have the entire audience pair up. We're going to do one round at a time. I'll count it off. If you tie, as you, some of you will, um, then just uh, keep playing until you have a winner. Then for the next round, we'll come back and count it off again. Okay, so everyone can stand up. So if, if you win this round, then you'll stay standing, and if you lose, you'll sit down. So introduce yourself to someone beside you. Say hello. And on the count of three, we'll do this, okay? Okay, you ready? It's good. We're introducing ourselves, introducing ourselves, wrapping it up. Okay, everyone ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, now keep playing until someone wins for that pairing. Okay. Then find a new partner after that group. Okay, and then we'll count it off again with your new partner. Okay. Who needs a partner? This fellow needs a partner. Uh, there's someone right there that needs a partner, I think, right? Are you good? Okay. Ready? Next round. One, two, three. Okay, the game side guys are still in this. Um, okay, new partners, new partners. Ah, sure, you can go ahead, I guess. <laughs> okay, ready? Third round. One, two, three. Okay, new partners. Um, what is this, the fourth round? Yeah. Who, how many people are left upstairs? One? Okay, you can... Is she coming down? You can do it remotely. You can. You're running downstairs. Okay. Okay. What is this? The fourth round. Okay. We'll still get a buy on this round. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Fifth round. So we've got one pair, one pair. Are you, you're looking for someone to play, I think, here? And a fellow in the... Okay, I think you're an extra person, so I could play you. <laughs> I'll play you, ma'am. Ready? Oh, there's one over here, never mind. You can play this. <laughs> well... Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so we have four, how many people left? Four, four or something? Let's get everyone on stage. We'll figure it out. Yeah, let's have a round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, congratulations for making it to the possibly uh, semi-final, I think. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yep. Congratulations. It is incredible. Yep. Wow, we actually got four people. Has that ever happened before? We actually have a power of two present. Thank you. Let's have a round of applause for that. All right, so I guess we'll just do two simultaneous games here. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! Wow, our finalists. Um,
Uh, how far have you come to Ignite tonight? How far away have you come from? Dearborn. Dearborn and? Uh, Catherine Street. Catherine Street. All right. Okay. I should mention that the winner of this round uh, will receive an Ignite Ann Arbor t-shirt. So th those are the stakes. Are you ready? I'm standing in your shadow. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's definitive. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Um, there's, a couple, there's some uh, t-shirts right there in that box. Is that so work for you? Okay, thank you. Out of this. All right.